Hey folks, so we're taking a quick look here at the Q5L. This is the new ground attack jet for China with the LGBs uh, that was added in Fire and Ice a couple of days ago. So there are a couple of problems with it, and I'm I'm going to hold off on doing a full review in my normal format, And but I, I, I want to explain why, uh, because I know that folks are probably expecting me to get a review of this plane out relatively quickly, like I normally do after an update. Um, first, this plane has no countermeasures. That is a technical error. There should be a countermeasures dispenser in between those two stabilizers under the tail. Uh, on this version of the plane, for whatever reason, they've omitted that. The Q5A before this in the tech tree has a countermeasures dispenser. It's not unlockable as a research upgrade or anything. It's just not there. Um, I opened a bug report. I sent a picture of the real-life Q5L in its green operational camouflage pattern, not the white air show promotional paint job that it has here, uh, but the green operational camouflage pattern where the outline of the gray countermeasures dispenser is clearly visible under the tail. Um, but the response was that a single grainy photograph is not good enough information for them to, for them to fix it. Um, and I also included the only publicly available information in English that I could find stating decisively that the Q5L does or does not have countermeasures um, was declassified intelligence from the U.S. Department of Defense. Um, I, I included a link to that, and the, the response was that a single third-party website is not acceptable information for them to use uh, to fix the problem and put countermeasures on the plane. I found some Chinese language sources on the internet, um, but my Mandarin is only mediocre, so I may have translated some of it wrong, uh, but that seems to not have been good enough anyway. So I don't know if they're ever going to add countermeasures to the plane. Uh, but it, it, is, it is a genuine technical omission. And I, I'm very unhappy that it's not there. Um, the second, and this is really the bigger problem, and this is what's stopping me from doing a review on the plane. Uh, the laser targeting is busted. So you can see right there, there's a laser targeting pod under the plane. And there's also... This thing, this is a laser targeting system uh, up, in, up in the front under the nose. Now, you may be wondering why it has two, right? Well, here's why. I'm going to switch into, um, and just for, for simplicity's sake during this video, the targeting pod, I'm going to have the thermals on. The nose targeter, I'm going to leave in real color view. So here we are, we're in, we're in the targeting view for... For the targeting system mounted under the nose. The field of view is very limited. All right, this is as far down as it goes. And you can see if I track a point, and just wait a second, it's not going to let me overfly the point. See, it, 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 you know, goes out of the field of view of the sensor and it just starts towing us forward. Um, similarly, this is as far as it goes to the left and to the right. You can look at the crosshairs in the box down on the bottom. This is a very narrow field of view uh, for this particular sensor. So that means if you target something with this, like if I laser target with this, I can't overfly the target because we'll lose the laser lock. So, you know, if I, if I keep the laser pointed at that point on the ground, the, the zoom's not very great, but if I keep lasing that point on the ground and we overfly it, and like, let's say I have a bomb going down right there, we, we can't overfly the target. Now, oh, sorry. Now, I am convinced that that is a bug, and I think the bug, and I filed a proper bug report about this, and I made a video demonstrating this problem in detail and included it with the bug report. Um, the problem, I think, is that the game is defaulting when you target something to using the nose sensor instead of the targeting pod. Now, let me demonstrate something with the targeting pod here, all right? I'm in the targeting pod now. We're in, we're in thermals. And you can see the field of view. Like, here's this bridge below me. We can, we can overfly this bridge, and, I mean, we can, we can go way behind the plane. 
we can target this bridge. And I'll laze it. And we can overfly this. And, you know, the, the sensor will will continue tracking and continue lasing. I mean, the, the auto tracker, it's got a spot in the water instead of the bridge, but it, that's not the point. Um, you know, it's got, it, it'll use that window on the bottom of the targeting pod and it'll gimbal the laser, you know, to, to laze the target that we're over flying. This will allow you to drop, you know, the point of that is to allow you to drop an LGB on something and, you know, overfly it. Now, as it stands right now, if we target a point on the ground, I'm just going to I'm just going to pick that little that little peninsula there. If we target that and we laze it in our third person view. As soon as it goes out of like 45 degrees in front of the plane, we lose the laser lock and the targeting track. So that's what makes me think that it is defaulting to using the nose sensor instead of the targeting pod. We can we can use this through the targeting pod, but we have to stay in the targeting pod view. There, I just dropped a bomb, and I'll drop another. And I, I don't know if these are going to hit, because I can't switch to the third-person view, because I'll lose the laser lock on this target. So I can't really tell, like, my relative attitude and, and distance or anything um, to the target when I drop those bombs. I can keep the target lased inside the laser pod view. Okay, and there's, there's the bombs. They tracked and they hit, right? That's what's supposed to happen. But if you, use the, if you switch to the third-person view or you switch your camera at all out of the targeting pod, you can't keep the target lased. Meaning that the only way to do that, if you want to switch to, like, the cockpit view or the third-person view like this, is you would have to keep flying almost directly at a target until your bombs land. Which means that you're going to lawn dart and crash the plane. Um, so I, I filed a pretty detailed bug report about that. I don't, I don't know if it'll get fixed or whatever. Uh, but those, those two issues are stopping me from reviewing the plane. Uh, really, it's the laser targeting thing. That's the bigger problem. Uh, until that get fixed, gets fixed, I, I really can't take this out into close air support and do, you know, a, a proper review of its performance uh, because we're not going to, you know, I mean, if we can't actually target things, we might be able to get that because we're flying right at it. But, you know, if we can't actually target things, with the laser targeting pod, then the primary weapon system on the plane is useless. So that's that's a serious problem, and hopefully they're going to fix that soon. But in any case, um, if you were... The whole point in making this video is just to show you that this is why I don't have any content up with the Q5 early yet. This is first on the list, um, even though I'm probably going to have some content with a different plane out first. Um, as soon as they fix the laser targeting thing, I will get a review out of this plane. I would really like it if they put the countermeasures back on, uh, but I'm not going to hold my breath. And uh, also, I just wanted to demonstrate that this is actually a problem so that if you are flying the Q5 and you're having some trouble with the laser targeting, it's not you, it's a bug. And uh, if you are experiencing this problem, I will leave a link in the description of the video to my bug report so that you can click on the bug report and hit the button for I'm having this problem too. And maybe if enough people do that, they'll actually fix it. In any case, thanks for watching.